This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install memory or RAM into your Precision T3610 workstation. Um, so the first step that you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com, uh, click on the blog page, and search T3610. Um, because if you don't already have memory, uh, we have an awesome resource guide for tons of different upgrades here for your Precision T3610 workstation. Uh, the upgrades are great whether you're using it for gaming or whatever sort of computing, um, but you can go down to the memory uh, uh, part of the page and we'll, we'll show you the part numbers that you'll want to order to upgrade your memory. Um, so check it out. Um, you can look at all the other upgrade ideas as well. We do videos on those as, as well, uh, like processors, graphics cards, hard drives, NVMe. Um, so save this page as a resource um, and also to use to purchase your upgrade RAM. All right, so let's show you how to actually install this RAM. Uh, we're going to do six 4-gig uh, DDR3 14900R modules, um, like, in, like you can see in the video. Um, they're under a part number, I believe, 7826W. Uh, um, uh, but you can look at that Green PC Gamers page to get the exact part number to try to order them. Um, so we're going to remove our side panel. And as you can see, uh, we do not see uh, our memory slots um, because they're covered under these memory shrouds. So um, there's two of them. Um, we have to remove our optical drive cage to access those memory modules. So once you remove that, you'll see that there's two blue little uh, thumb pieces or, or finger pieces that you can push down and then you can pull up those memory shrouds. And that will allow you to access your memory. Okay, so there's two banks of four, and we only have one processor, so we don't have to worry about having two processors like some of the other precision workstations to activate those slots. Um, so they're all active. Um, so we need to do uh, our memory uh, modules and slots one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now they're separated into two banks. So uh, one, five, and three are on our bottom bank, um, and our remaining slots are on the top bank. So we're gonna show you how to install these modules. Um, if you take a look at that notch in the middle of the module, you have to line it up perfectly. Um, just drop the memory module into place, and then you can shim it in, uh, push each side until it clicks. If it doesn't push in, that means that that little slot, it probably isn't lined up properly. So um, realign that memory module or flip it around, um, and then you'll be able to install the module. Okay, so uh, we're going to do that with, uh, again, uh, uh, dim slots 1, 5, and 3 in the bottom, and then we'll kind of fast forward the top because you kind of get the picture of how to install the actual modules. Now, one thing to note is you can't mix ECC and uh, registered uh, dims. Um, in our case, we're doing ECC registered modules, so um, and we're, we're replacing all of our uh, modules uh, because we had uh, two 4-gig ECC modules originally. All right, so we've got our, our memory slots populated. Uh, they're populated with the correct DIMM slots, so we shouldn't get any beep codes or decremented memory. Now we need to put our memory shrouds back on. Um, and they go on almost as easy as they come off. So line up your notch on the left side and then push it down on the right side so that blue clip clips back in. Um, we have some cables in the way. So take your time when you do this. Sometimes the cables will uh, move on you. Um, just take your time and make sure everything's installed and snug so that memory stays nice and cool. Okay, so now we need to reinstall our optical drive cage. Uh, pushes in really, really easily. Uh, it's a good time to double check you didn't unplug any cables. Uh, we'll put our side panel back on here. We're going to do our side panel twice. Alright, so now um, we just need to boot up our system, um, which we have done here. We've gone into the F2 setup. Um, we can see that we have 24 gig of RAM um, that is recognized by F2. It's running at 1600 megahertz, um, and that's because our processor cannot run at 1866 megahertz, um, even though these uh, memory modules are capable of doing that. Now we just need to go into uh, Windows or whatever operating system you're using and verify that it's showing up in Windows. After that, we're uh, good to use our system. Um, as you can see, Windows 10 is recognizing 24 gig of RAM, um, so everything's working perfectly. Um, and, and, and that's, that's about it. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. Um, if it was, if you could please hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Um, all of our how-to videos we do, it's all completely free information. 
um, go to greenpcgamers.com. Um, and then also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we do some live giveaways. We also want you guys to post uh, any gaming builds that you do with uh, Precision um, or HP or IBM CAD workstations. Um, we love to post those on our uh, social media. Um, thank you so much for watching.